White Noise American Prayer Rug is a conversation with media, with American culture and consumption of media. White noise is a noise that's used to drone out other sounds or noises. So in that instance, our communities and our voices are oftentimes drowned out. American prayers, a connection to our historical relationship to religion, the weaponization of religion towards indigenous communities. This was one of the works at the Whitney Biennial in 2019. At the Whitney, obviously it's a powerful institution. So to get an invite to the Biennial was obviously an honor considering the, the lack of representation historically in those spaces from our communities. Um, so it was a, to me, it was a, a responsibility of sorts to be able to show up and have a voice in a place like that where we genuinely don't have voices of, of representing our uh, perspectives. Knowingly, though, with the Whitney, like many institutions, um, we have to hold those places accountable for how they operate, how they're funded, where they where that comes from, what they represent, who's on the boards, who's in those committees, who's in the those positions to um, to successfully do what their role might be or their missions might be, which is oftentimes to to represent a larger community. One of their board members was Warren B. Canders, and Canders heavily profited off of state-sanctioned violence. Tear gas was used heavily by law enforcement against our communities at Standing Rock, used against women and children at the border, it was used in Ferguson. And then more recently, a lot of the anti-police brutality protests and Black Lives Matters movement, these products show up and are utilized often against our communities. You know, it was in a position to actively protest that by demanding removal of my work from the Biennial alongside four other artists. Um, and, you know, four others followed suit. Also, one artist rejected the whole Biennial before it had opened. Kanders resigned from his position and sold that business, which isn't a solution either, necessarily, because that somebody's still operating that and our police forces are still heavily funded in our country in a time where our education system is highly defunded. So those imbalances are really problematic, I feel like.